Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. Happy Wednesday. Woman crush Wednesday, may I add. I mean, you know, thank you. All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to discuss the $1,200 stimulus check that will not hit our accounts to year 2049. We also are going to talk about unemployment as well as some states are extending unemployment for claimants. So yes, you definitely want to stay tuned because that's extra money and that might be the only money that we're getting truth be told and then we're going to talk about job programs job placement christmas relief assistance you name it we are going to discuss it so if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus my darling you already know what to do stay tuned your girls got you covered now if this is your first time tuning into my channel hi hello hey friend okay my name is Shalay, and here on this channel we talk about shopping saving and everything in between i would love to have you a part of my internet family it's super easy all you have to do is click the big old red subscribe button down below and you're in just like that and while you're ready, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing sunrise stimulus to you and i absolutely enjoy doing it all right so let's go ahead and talk about it. i mean what is there to really talk about we don't have the money in our account we don't have a deal but you know Positive thinking, all right? Woosa. Okay, so guys, right now, Treasury Secretary <laughs> Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi, they are pushing forward with stimulus talks, even though we have one person that's saying, whoa, pump the brakes. Now, we all know who that person is. It is Mitch McConnell. But we all know that Tuesday's deadline to reach a relief package before Election Day, it came, it went, it conquered, but no stimulus check, right? But negotiators did agree upon one thing, that they are going to continue to march to finding a possible resolution in the next coming days, and the talks will continue. So they're saying that we should know something now by the end of the week. You know, you already know, guys. It's like the broken record, okay? It, it is, but... I'm still there for some reason. I keep playing the record over and over. All right, so House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin pressed to find a way to move forward on this pre-election deal. They talked again yesterday and indicated that they can see the daylight towards reaching an agreement. Now, with both sides moving closer to one another on the aspects that they have been haggling over for the past three months, according to Drew Hamill, a spokesperson for Nancy Pelosi, that the two spoke for about 45 minutes with the conversation providing more clarity and more common ground as they move closer to an agreement now guys we didn't have so many talks so many months what is what are we still talking about at this point like oh my gosh now today's deadline which was yesterday's deadline enabled the speaker and secretary to see that the decisions can be reached and language can be exchanged, demonstrating that both sides are serious about finding a compromise. Now, according to them, on several open questions, the speaker and the secretary call for the committee chairs to work to resolve the differences about finding levels and languages. <laughs> levels to this, right? Okay. Well, hey, I mean, at this point, I can't do nothing but wait. I mean, what can we do? Can, can we make it move any quicker? No. So at this point... Akuna Matata. Okay. Now, the person that's pumping the brakes is Mitch McConnell. And yes, guys, I am in another chair. I just had to grab this chair, you know, just to give me a little back support. Okay. Lean back. Oh, all right. Moving on. Mitch McConnell urges the White House against the large stimulus deal as Nancy Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin continue the talk. So we know that... Um, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, he's not fond of a stimulus deal. He has said it, he's announced it, okay, we know. But yesterday in a closed door lunch, he told his fe fellow Republicans and he urged them and the White House not to strike a deal with the Democrats on the relief package. And he said that, hey, right now their concerns would be that they don't have enough GOP votes to back the package and worries that voting on such legislation could negatively affect the timing on Judge Amy Barrett's confirmation vote to the Supreme Court. Now, Republicans did disagree about the size and the details of the bill. Some Republicans rejected the Democratic offers and they said that they were too costly and they will add to the federal deficit. But the President, Donald Trump, has pushed for Republicans to offer even more than the Democrats. So as of right now, guys, we know that the Republicans in the Senate, they are set to take up this $500 billion 
plan on the stimulus, you know, that one that went to Jenny Craig and Weight Watchers that didn't have anything in it. So yeah, that 500 billion, they're supposed to vote today that could reauthorize like the small businesses loans, issue federal unemployment, which was $300 until December 27th, and then a hundred billion for school and allocate funding for testing and vaccine development. <sighs> we'll see. We will see. Now, some people that are urging for the money right now, lawmakers want additional unemployment benefits for people that are making less than $100. So some of the state's lowest income residents aren't having or receiving the extended unemployment benefits because we know that back in August, FEMA said that you must make at least $100 or more to get the $300 boost. Well, over 100 legislators on Beacon Hill have sent a letter to the federal government calling for help because they said 17,000 citizens in Massachusetts lack access to the extended unemployment benefits. Now, the, we know that right now it says the lowest income people who are the very low wage jobs or they had very low wage jobs before the pandemic, they lost their jobs because of the pandemic and now they are relying on this to feed their families and purchase food and pay rent. And so they said that, hey, even if something is passed, we need to actually put where that language shows that it doesn't have a $100 requirement and if possible, go back and give the people that um, did not meet the $100 requirement unemployment. So I don't know what's going to happen. We don't even know what the language is that is being negotiated right now, but hopefully people that did not make $100 um, will be able to get unemployment. Now moving along in unemployment, Vermont is going to actually give additional payments to unemployment workers or excuse me, unemployed workers, okay? So Vermont residents who continue to file unemployment claims through October, you're gonna receive an extra check in the mail. I love it. I absolutely love these states that are taking it upon themselves to help out just claimants, whether it's providing their own stimulus check, increasing unemployment, Thank you, kudos to you. Now, eligible unemployed workers will see an additional benefit of $100 per week attached to their claims according to the Vermont Labor Department. This money is actually gonna come from the Vermont Short-Term Supplemental Benefit Program. It's a new initiative that is separate from the previous federal unemployment benefits for the $300. This is completely separate. I don't know about your state, okay? This is something Vermont is doing, all right? but they will it will apply to claims for at least four weeks in october beginning the week of october 3rd through october 24th the benefit will be paid in one check so a lump sum check at the end of the month if you're an eligible claimant and you don't have to take any actions you don't have to do anything you'll be notified via email or mail when the department is ready to send those payments to you as well good job i wonder hey for my north carolina family let me know, have you guys started receiving that additional $50? Because I know in the state of North Carolina, they were gonna do an additional $50 boost as well as they were giving their own um, stimulus checks that will come by December. Now, in Michigan, Big Gretch, okay, that's my girl, I like Big Gretch, and I'm not even in Michigan, but she signs unemployment extension into law, granting an additional six weeks of jobless benefits. So unemployed Michigan residents, you will have an additional six weeks and on there, pretty much what will happen is that you were able to get 20 weeks of unemployment, but now she has extended it to 26 weeks of unemployment. And so she said, hey, 40 states, including all of our neighbors, automatically provide at least 26 weeks of relief, and she wanted to do the same thing for Michigan. So kudos. Now, in Louisiana, okay, so look at all these extensions. In Louisiana, residents can apply for extension of unemployment benefits as well. So Louisiana residents, if you are still unemployed due to the pandemic, they do have extensions that will go to the end of the year, according to the Louisiana Workforce Commission. Now, they recommend that you apply to have the benefits extend to them. You can actually go online and check out their new hire program. There you can set up an account and you'll be directed for the unemployment benefits and job openings as well. You can do all in one. They said it's open 24 hours a day. You can do it from your phone. You can do it from your computer. Pretty much they said, just do it, okay? Do it. Do it, hey, do it till you're satisfied. Come on and do it. 
do it. All right, all right. I just had to do that. I don't know. Somehow the music comes in my head and I have to just get it out. All right, so you can file your unemployment claims or go there, apply for extensions online as well. And she said it's going to be a lot easier, a lot faster. It will prompt you and it will actually tell you what um, programs you qualify for. So if you don't know what you qualify for in Louisiana, they have everything set up like a one-stop shop. Now they said there are certain unemployment extensions that will last for a number of weeks. Normally when one extension program ends, you will have to fill out the, uh, another application for the next program, but they have it, so just do it. Now there's a list of retail stores that are steady growing that are going to be closed for Thanksgiving Day. Can you believe we're almost like a month away from Thanksgiving? Where is the time going? I'm okay, but anyway, many retailers have announced that they will be closed on Thanksgiving Day. Now we have Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Kohl's, Ulta, Sam's Club, Academy Sports and Outdoors, Bath and Body Works, Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond, BJ's, Costco, Foot Locker, GameStop, Dick's Sporting Goods, JCPenney's, Lowe's, Macy's, Office Depot, Office Max, and REI. All those will be closed on Thanksgiving Day. Amazon has announced that they are going to be offering 1,500 fresh jobs to be filled in new grocery stores in Chicago suburbs. Amazon is doing it, okay? Amazon right now is looking to take the suburbs of the Windy City by storm with the latest grocery concept and wants to hire 1,500 people to do it. The online retailer announced today that the expansion of the new grocery store concept, it will be called Amazon Fresh. All right, and the stores are gonna open up in Naperville, Bloomingdale, Oakland, and Schaumburg. And at that point that you can go online and start applying for jobs right now, they said that the jobs will have all different types of positions from full-time to part-time. They will come with compensation packages and starting off with at least $15 per hour. That's good money if it's starting off. Now, Amazon said that also it will let their corporate employees work from home for those that are still working from home until June of 2021, since everything that is still going on with the pandemic. So, hey, if you're in Chicago area and you wanna get on with Amazon, go ahead and check the website. They're hiring 1,500 people. And last but not least, in rental assistance, in Sacramento, California, they are having where they have their, um, it is open today, is the last, tomorrow. October 22nd, today's the 21st, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day for you to apply for a rental assistance. They do have where you can receive the emergency assistance. All you have to do is go on the website and apply. And Toys for Tot Charities for the Christmas assistance is open as well. So make sure if you want to get some toys, Salvation Army was open last month. Now we have Toys for Tots Charity. So that's all we have, guys, in today's news. I hope that you found something interesting here or learned a little bit. Let me know down in the comments below, as well as you can submit Ashley questions on there. If you have any questions pertaining to your state, EBT, or just life in general, go ahead and do that. But also, if you have some updates in your state that I didn't cover, let it know. I mean, we are family in the comments, and people do read the comments. I'm just saying. So let us know that. But that's all we have. Do you think we're going to have this stimulus package by Friday, or is it still going to be some more pushback? I mean, we're 13 days from the election at this point, so child i don't know let us pray all right that's all i got guys please like comment subscribe and i will talk to you tomorrow bye guys